For my project, I chose the Andean cat, which lives in the Andes Mountains. It is a small cat and is listed as um, endangered on the IUCN Red List. Um, it eats small mammals, small birds, small reptiles as its food, but its most important food source comes from an animal that looks like a rabbit, but I cannot pronounce its real name. It is closely related with the pompous cat. Um, when they are young, the markings on the back look the same, but as the Andean cat matures, you can then be able to tell them apart. It has a very big bushy tail that takes up 70% of how long its body is. Like you have the cat and the tail is almost as long and it wraps up in it on the cold nights. So that is one distinct feature of the cat. It is one of the most endangered small cats in the world. And I think it's very important and interesting to know that there are a lot of organizations that go into protecting this cat. And that just shows that people in the world take environmental protection very seriously as they should. This Andean cat species was really interesting to learn about because one, I had never heard about it before. So it was cool to realize there are still other species in the world that I have not learned about or seen. They have less than 2,000 mature individuals in the wild, which is absolutely crazy if you think about it. The population density is very sparsely and severely fragmented as well. If you think about a 500 city block area, there would only be one cat normally found within that area. Um, and that's just not a lot of cats whatsoever. Um, I learned that it is closely related to a puma, which you would not normally think because the puma is so big, but yet they're still related. Um, and to someone who would be learning about this as well, I would want to tell them about how important it would be to try to save them so they're not pushed to the brink of extinction. The locals used to, used to kill them by dropping rocks on their head and then saving the pelts and trading them, but that doesn't happen as much anymore because the agencies that are trying to protect the cat are trying to get the word out to the locals that this is not something you should do because this cat um, is on the brink of extinction, like I said earlier. I am glad I chose this cat because, it, like I said, it was interesting to learn about something that I did not know previously existed and how important it is to protect endangered species like this one that is so close to being completely wiped out. Um, it kind of made me want to travel to the Andes Mountains so just to like do something or even be a photographer because only two have ever photographs in the wild but hey maybe maybe that's what I'll do when I grow up but to someone if I had 60 seconds I would just want to tell them that it is a very cool cat it stays by itself but it has cool markings and the bushy tail is an interesting factor as well but I am glad I chose this um, cat and this project was interesting to work on.